Good morning everyone, August the 2nd, 2018, still heat wave here in Germany, we have way over 30 degrees every day and it's many many weeks and it will go on, so and private houses here usually don't have air conditioning, so it's hot. Let's talk about all the things I like about the Tesla Model S. If you didn't watch the Tesla Model S video, go watch it. It's amazing. I'm totally excited about it. It was an awesome day. Great car, great video. <laughs> okay. Um, well, the, the obvious, obvious things are, of course, the battery size, the power that the motors have. Well, of course, that's 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 amazing, and then supercharging network and charging with way higher speed than normal cars, normal electric cars. But there are so many other things. What I enjoyed about the car is that it's not annoying. A lot of cars, a lot of electric cars, they're totally annoying when you get in. It beeps everywhere, animation going on. You have to touch the brake, start stop button, and then I don't know, put it in drive, handbrake off, all of these things, and everything beeps and animates. It can be annoying, but the Tesla Model S doesn't even doesn't have a start button. You get in the car, everything lights up, no animation, no sound. You step on the brake, car is on. Maybe there's one beep, so the car is on, and then put it in drive, and. It it drives. So for me the simplicity about that is amazing. And even the handbrake, it's done automatically. There's, there's a button in the in the big screen, but usually you don't uh, you don't need that. It's awesome. Another thing is that you with your permanent internet connection, they have Google Maps on your screen to navigate. You have your traffic uh, see how much traffic there is, uh, if there's a traffic chain, everything, it's all on the fly because it's always connected to the internet and it works amazing. You can put it in satellite view and see the houses and everything, which takes a bit longer because it has to load more, but it still works. Um, and the whole navigation, everything is done in Google Maps and in, in such a big screen, not the tiny little screen that other electric cars have. So, wow! And when you plan a trip, you can see what state of charge it estimates you will have when you arrive at that destination. How cool is that? Air conditioning and the heating are very strong. You have a 6 kilowatt heater for the cabin. Other cars have 2 or 3 kilowatts, so power. The battery is liquid cooled and, and can be heated in the winter. So when you when you're charging very strongly, it cools down the battery. So everything works. When you're in the winter, it heats up the, the battery. So charging can can work better, and you have full regen and all of this. It's just perfect conditioning of your battery. A very big thing. What I what I like about the Tesla Model S and the Model X and Model Three. You can preheat or pre-cool, so the preconditioning of the car can be done without being plugged in. I don't know if any other electric car is able, is, is, is set to do that yet. So no need to plug it in and then set some weird timing. You just let the car where it is and then you use your app. You have an app, a Tesla app on your smartphone. You can see where the car is. You can let it hung, turn on the lights, you can summon it, that means that the car drives out of a very, maybe, maybe a narrow parking space for you, and you can see how fast it's charging, what the charging, charging state is, and of course you can see the temperature in the car and set the climate on, to heat up in the morning, to cool down in the evening, yeah. amazing, what can I say? Now that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care.